The mysteries of Islam fascinate us time and time again. This is no different from the life story of the Prophet. Who was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam? An illiterate desert merchant who one day stumbled upon amazing Arabic rhetoric? Or was he the creation of Allah's greatest light, sent down to earth to pull man out of ignorance and bring them to the purest of truths? I, Ali Burji, am on a journey to discover the real story behind the Prophet, the real story behind our religion, the root, the beginning, the cradle of civilization. So Doctor, with regards to the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he spent a lot of time in the cave. And um, as you've mentioned, 27th of Rajab, Archangel Gabriel, peace be upon him, descended to dunya, to earth, and had a message for the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If you can uh, please um, shed some light with regards to the incident of the cave. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم صل على محمد uh, some say that you know he didn't know what was going to happen. He was terrified. He was uh, worried, concerned, sweating, and in fact, unfortunately, um, we have uh, one false fabrication which says that uh, he wants to commit uh, a suicide, and Archangel Gabriel uh, stopped him. Uh, of course, all of these are uh, uh, not true, and. Um, these are, um, these hadith or so called hadith, these uh, tales have been uh, fabricated really by the, um, uh, if you like, the enemies of the Prophet in order to undermine him. <coughs> in, this, in the same way that they come and say that uh, the father, the parents of the Prophet uh, were polytheists, mushrikeen, and therefore they are in hell. Mm. and. Uh, the father of Imam Ali Abu Talib was Mushrik, mm. therefore he's in hell, yeah. and things like this. The whole point is to try, in any way they can, they used to try to undermine the Prophet and his uh, rightful successor, divinely, divinely appointed successor, Imam Ali. And uh, uh, there are various uh, um, such false uh, fabrications against uh, the Prophet and his Ahlul Bayt. So, um, unfortunately, uh, this is the case. There is a, in one case, for instance, uh, Zurara asked uh, Imam Sadiq alayhi salam um, uh, that wasn't he was the was the Prophet scared uh, that the thing that the the revelation that he is receiving it's it's from, uh, and how could he distinguish whether it's from Allah or it's from uh, Shaitan? Mm. Imam Imam Sadiq alayhi salam uh, responds that. When Allah takes a, uh, uh, someone, uh, a servant, <coughs> excuse me, uh, a messenger, then he, he descends his tranquility and composure. Uh, he descends the tranquility and composure, the sakina and waqar, on him, on that uh, uh, prophet. Uh, and uh, he will see Archangel Jibreel or the, the, the angel. In the same way that he, he sees him, he sees the angel in his dreams. So he sees, uh, he has dreams, he sees the angel, and then he, the Rasul uh, will see uh, the angel in person. So he is sure that what he is actually seeing um, uh, while he's awake is the same as what he had, sort of um, inspiration and dream that he had, divine dream that he had from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, and another hadith we have which says uh, 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 Rasulullah sees in his dream 
asbab al nubuwa before the revelation before wahi came to him and um, and before jibrail alayhi salam came uh, um, to him on behalf of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so there is no ambiguity there is no nothing um, uh, to uh, no cause for concern if you like uh, the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi knew uh, archangel gabriel and um, he knew that he is from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it wasn't something uh, uh, out of a sudden uh, that mm. uh, he, so he he's, been, he's been going to to the cave tr mm. try to find some time for himself uh, in seclusion and isolation from the rest so that he could he, he could concentrate on his worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That would not have been the first time he's seen an angel either, correct? That's a good point. Um, in um, uh, khutbah number 192, sermon number 192 of Nahj al-Balagha, Imam Ali alayhi salam, it's a very beautiful ser uh, sermon. Uh, it's worth reading. It's a long sermon. Uh, it's worth reading. And um, uh, the Imam Ali alayhi salam uh, talks about his time with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. Mm. and then it's as I said sermon number 192 uh, of uh, Nahj al um, he talks about that the care that he used, uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi used to take care of, the, of Imam Ali alayhi salam when he, in his young age and so on we'll come to that inshallah later on but I want to focus on certain issue that it says وَلَقَدْ قَرَنَ اللَّهُ بِهِ sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi مِنْ لَدُنْ أَنْ كَانَ فَطِيمًا أَعْظَمُ مَلَكٍ مِنْ مَلَائِكَتِهِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, put in charge uh, of the Prophet uh, from the time that he uh, from the time of his weaning that he started eating solid food instead of uh, just being breastfed uh, from the time of his weaning Allah appointed uh, to be with the Prophet uh, the greatest of his malaika, a'zamu malakin min malaikat, and he was with him all the time, day and night. Laylihi wa nahara, laylahu wa nahara, and he used to um, show him the uh, uh, the good manners. So the angel was with him all along. And it would, would not be the first time. Uh, so he, he wasn't, it, it wasn't something strange as far as Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi was concerned. And uh, Sayyidah Khadija, for example, on the first day of marriage, she says that I know you will be a prophet. So when that day comes, the only thing is that she didn't know when that day will be. But she knew it will be. She says, when that day comes, when you become a prophet, uh, pray for me. Um, all of this, I'm trying to establish the fact that it was well known not only um, to the Prophet himself, to the individual uh, of the Prophet himself, but to all around him, even Jewish and uh, Christian scholars, even uh, Sayyidah Ghadija at the time when she wasn't still married to him, they all knew about him becoming a Prophet. The only thing is that they didn't, they didn't know when he would become a Prophet. And as, a, as I said, uh, uh, Waraka bin Nofel, the old cousin of Sayyidah Khadija, who was a Christian, he says he is the one that we've been waiting for. Okay, so uh, at, at, the, at the cave, Archangel Gabriel appeared to him and he recited uh, Surah Al Araq, Iqra, Bismi Rabbik Alladhi Khalaq, and basically he, um, he uh, officially, if you like, he starts his mission. He comes to Sayyidah Khadija alayhi salam. Sorry, and before that, I wanted to touch with regards to what you mentioned, the, 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 that uh, Archangel Gabriel alayhi salam says to the Holy Prophet, Iqra. Mm -hmm. Now here, again, we have um, opinions with regards to the... Uh, Whether he couldn't read or write. Yes, yeah. that um, the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was illiterate. Mm -hmm because the archangel told him iqra yeah yeah w which means basically read mm. and so, as you said so, tales say that the holy prophet asked him but i don't know how to read mm -hmm. and, and this and that i want to understand um 
when when that was said, Iqra, what did the archangel mean? Yeah. Um, can I just finish on the on the on the okay. thing that when he uh, when he said Iqra Iqra bismi Rabbi kaladi khalaq khalaq al insan min alaq ila akhir al ayah until uh, or surah uh, they. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi went back home to say the Khadija alayhi mm. salam, um, and it is reported that Sayyidah Khadija says, probably she knew, but she asked this question: What is this radiance I see in your face? What is this light I see in your face? He said, Nur nubuwa. This is the light of prophethood. <laughs> this is the light of prophethood, and um, and of course, yes, he was. Uh, now, in a, he could feel the responsibility. The mission has started. Uh, he, um, he's got a huge responsibility to convey this message uh, to the people. But as we know that, to begin with, um, he, it, he didn't go public. It was, uh, uh, he didn't make uh, if you like a, f a formal public declaration, and he until and he was waiting for the for Allah Subhanahu wa Taala uh, for the divine command to come and say, you know, go public. So un until then, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa um, received revelations, and it is reported now at least from outside, if you like, people would see the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa praying in the in the in the mosque. In the Beit, uh, in the, if you like, in the mosque of the Kaaba. Mm. Of course, at that time, it, the Kaaba was filled with idols and so on. But he was in no position to challenge them. He hasn't been instructed to um, go public. People would see him. The Quraysh would see him. He is praying, and um, uh, and when, sorry, before that, when he said to when the Prophet sallallahu said to Sayyidah Khadija alayhi salam. Nur um, al-Nubuwa, she, she said, Amantu wa saddaqtu wa raditu wa sallamtu. I believe in this religion. Um, I test, I, I, I confirm, Amantu wa saddaqtu, uh, I am content with, the religion, with this religion وسلمت, and I submit to the, uh, to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that was immediately as soon as uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi came to say the Khadija alayhi salam and she said she, he said to her this is in response to her question this is the light of prophethood she immediately believed in him. She's been waiting for that. Um, so, he, his mission was not to go public, but he was praying in the mosque. Uh, she had faith in him, she brought faith to him. And also Imam Ali uh, uh, you're talking probably hours after Sayyidah Khadija. Uh, uh, if, assuming that, it doesn't say in this particular hadith when she said, um, It doesn't say that Imam Ali was there at the time. Um, of course, at that time, Imam Ali was 10 years old. Um, and uh, probably the message went to him or the news got to him, whether it's minutes later or hours later, we don't know. Um, but he was seen all the time <coughs> that uh, the Prophet Sallallahu would pray and say the Khadija behind him and Imam Ali behind him. And... Um, um, they didn't do, Quraysh didn't do much to him uh, because he, had, he hasn't made any declaration. Um, but now this is a brief summary of what happened or what continued to happen on the is issue of illiteracy of the Prophet Sallallahu um, Alaihi Wasallam. If you like, um, yes, they do say, some people say that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam could not read and write. Mm. And... Uh, uh, of course, this assertion is not correct. Um, we have uh, hadith uh, from Imam al-Rada when um, 
uh, someone comes to him and says, what is the meaning of Ummi? Um, and he says, what do the people say about this? He's, the narrator says, uh, they say that Ummi means he was, uh, uh, he couldn't, he was illiterate, he couldn't read and write. Um, Imam Rada alayhi salam was, uh, if you like, displeased, he says, um, this is false, this is a false um, accusation of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. And um, of course he could read and write, and he knew uh, the languages if you like, 70 languages of the people of earth. Um, and uh, of course we have ha other hadiths that he knew of the languages of other worlds as well. Um, but he just, uh, Imam Rada alayhi salam was to address, to focus on this, not to go. And so he, he knew other languages. And how could someone who comes, when it says, huwa ladhi ba'atha fil ummina rasulam minhum, uh, in order to teach them the book and to purify them, uh, uh, how could someone who want to teach them the book and to teach them wisdom and to mm. purify them, uh, he cannot read and write? I'll be the devil's advocate here. Um, they will come and say that that's one of the miracles of the Holy Prophet wasallam that he could not read and write. So when the, the Holy Quran was revealed, people could not say, oh, he wrote it because they knew that he, he was illiterate. Um, how, do, how do we respond to that? Well, if you like, uh, we need to see the evidence. Uh, if people say this is a miracle, mm. he couldn't read and write until, until the moment that he, the wahi started, uh, we need to see the evidence for that. Um, and um, the evidence say, as I said, this hadith from Imam Rada alayhi salam, it says that uh, he, he could read and write. Um, they, the reason they say when they say the Nabi al Ummi, as I said, Ummi in reference to Umm al Qura, this hadith of Imam Rada alayhi salam. Which is, uh, which is Mecca. Mecca. If you like, Umm al Qura means the capital city, mm. the mother of the cities. Okay? Uh, in today's terminology will be uh, uh, capital city. So the major city, if you like. Uh, major city was referred to in Mecca because there were a lot of, if you like, um, towns and villages around it. So Mecca had become so big. It was referred to Umm al Qura, and uh, as in reference to referring, associating the the Prophet with Mecca, with this city, with the capital of Umm al Qura, is referred to as Ummi. Um, this is the explanation which is given uh, in the hadith from Imam Rada alayhi salam. Therefore, to an the answer to your question is that we need to go according to what the evidence tells us, what the hadith tells us. We can't sort of come up with our own. Um, of course, they say, yes. Um, he couldn't read and write, uh, so that uh, to prove that he, um, people would not say he, he wrote, compiled he compiled it. Yes. Of course, the, they say, there is, we have a, a, a verse in the Quran which says that uh, they accuse him that he's being taught by so-and-so. Mm. So even if we go by the fact that he couldn't read and write, he's st still being accused by so-and-so. Uh, -and, -so. and that happened to be non-Arab. Okay, the teacher of, and in one, in one accusation is that, they were, that he, was, he was taught by Salman, Salman al-Farsi. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran says that uh, he, uh, this book is Arabic and they, they accuse him of being taught by someone who is a non-Arab and therefore his language would not be Arabic. So of course, uh, this, is only, this wasn't only the only thing, uh, the only reason that they accuse him of. When he said all the things, when the Prophet brought the Quran and he said to them all the things that he said about the uh, oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the false uh, uh, hold of the idols and so on, they said this man is, they called him crazy, uh, they called him uh, uh, a poet, uh, they called him a sorcerer, a magician, so they called him all the names they could think of, uh, um, or liar and so on. So they called, they called him all the things they could think of. Uh, yes, we have, if you like, um, uh, a verse in the Quran which says, "Ma kunta tatlu min qablihi min kitabin, wala taqtuhu biyaminik," and that is in reference to the fact that yes, uh, the Prophet uh, didn't used to recite a book for them beforehand, mm -hmm. before the revelation, um, and probably he didn't, if you like, openly practice uh, 
uh, uh, writing, uh, but that doesn't mean that he couldn't read and write. Um, I hope this was uh, an answer to your question. It was, yes. Um, now, so, <coughs> with regards to the um, timeline, um, the Holy Prophet um, was informed by Archangel Gabriel that he can start his mission, that officially can announce his prophethood to the public. But um, how, how long was the period from um, the incident in the cave to announcing it publicly to the Quraysh? Yes, Ahsan. Um, when Allah, when the Prophet had this revelation, Allah revealed to him, وَأَنذَرْ عَشِرَتِكَ الْأَقْرَبِينَ So warn your close relatives. It was then that uh, he started with the with his tribe, with, with the tribe of Bani Hashim and on his close relatives. Between the time that, if you like the Mab'ath, when the time when Archangel Gabriel first appeared to him, and the time when this verse was revealed uh, to the Prophet, and he addressed, he called upon the people around him, their relatives, the close relatives, it was about three years. So in three years, um, they were, um, uh, low-key, not public. Um, during these three years, the Prophet, they would see the Prophet praying in the, in the, in the mosque, and Imam Ali alayhi salam, and Sayyidah Khadija alayhi salam. But they did, other than some, sometimes and occasionally they used to ridicule him. Mm. Uh, so they, 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 they would see that his way of praying in it, they would distinguish yes. as different from the, uh, he, uh, the Jews and the Christians and other other sects that they've yes. known in the area. Yes. So they would question him, what is this prayer you do? They, 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 they they're just saying, okay, he's got his own thing going his on. His own thing going on, his own religion, okay. his own God and so on. Okay. It wasn't too serious. Mm. They could see these things, but it wasn't too serious. This was going on. We have reports. Uh, someone comes, someone called Afif al Kindi comes and says, Ask Al Abbas, what's this? Al Abbas, the uncle. The of uncle of the Prophet. And he says, um, That young man who is ahead, he, he is my nephew. He is Muhammad, the son of Abdullah, uh, the son of my brother Abdullah. And uh, uh, that lady is, that woman is his wife, Khadija. And that young man, uh, or that, that boy uh, is Ali, my other nephew, Ali ibn Abi Talib. So this was reported on various occasions, different people report this, whether it's Al Abbas or others have seen him explaining to his companion, the, at least the person along with him, uh, what's going on in here. He said, in fact, Al Abbas says that he claims that he is the messenger uh, from Allah. But people, because he wasn't going public, Quraysh didn't uh, disturb him. Uh, Quraysh uh, remained quiet about it. Uh, at least uh, they didn't bother him in the way or harass him in the way that they would later on. Imam Ali says, Ana, uh, ara nur al -wahi wal I see the light and the brightness of revelation and the message. I breathe the aroma of prophethood. So the Prophet Imam Ali was with the Prophet all along. On other occasions, he says um, he used to go to the to the gate to the cave with him, where I could see him and no one else could see him.